Today, I am repairing, I am actually not repairing, I am replacing a kitchen implement. And rather than purchase this kitchen implement, I'm gonna make it. Um, this is a really standard kitchen tool. A hammer, a mallet, uh, for tenderizing chicken, smashing ice, uh, useful for all sorts of things. And we use it all the time in our kitchen. Uh, and we have been for a while. Oh, are you seeing some of the problems already? Um, this thing is a uh, piece of garbage. It has never really stayed together. Uh, it was made with, uh, I think, wood that hadn't been aged at all, and thus it's, it's cracking, all sorts of stuff. Meanwhile, I've got a nice bit of pallet wood here. Uh, this is left over from my garbage hammer build. More on that in a little bit. Uh, and I've got this leftover railing cut of a uh, two inch black walnut. Um, and I think this is what I'm gonna make the hammer head out of, cause I think that's neat. Uh, and I'm gonna make a handle out of this lovely piece of pallet wood. I can never remember what these are. White oak, I, no, who knows? Somebody knows, you're telling me in the comments right now and I appreciate that, but present me does not know. Oh, right, yeah, here we go. This, this is the thing is that this thing just pulls off and would fall off at a moment's notice all over the place. So, uh, we are going to remedy that exact problem. Mm-hmm, uh-huh. Um, okay, so the most fun part of this build will be making these little waffles on the back of the black walnut. That will be the thing we do, I think, almost last. Here are the order of operations as I see them. The first thing I wanna do is turn my handle uh, because this geometry and how it mates with this geometry is important. So this is where I wanna start. I wanna get this to a thing that I like. Then I'm gonna make it play well with this. Then I'm going to cut these holes like this hammerhead has into this stuff. Then once this is properly fit to this, then I will get to the final shaping of this. And then I will do the, um, do waffles. This, this right here is a plug cutter. Now, normally it cuts plugs to plug holes, but it also makes a great post maker for something like this.
So while I've got it, once I've already drilled the hole that fits these two diameters, uh, now I'm going to plane, I'm going to give a plane to the bottom of this up to here. Then I'm going to turn it over and do a plane to the top, and that'll give me my reference surface. So we're going to move this up. Now that's starting to feel like a great thing. That's a nice, absolutely excellent fit. Great, it's a little tall there, that's just what I want. Um, I want this to be a little shorter, so we'll cut this down. Yeah, I know it's got a few marks on it. I don't actually mind that, to be fair, because we're just, I'm gonna be hammering on this thing. So the next thing I need to do, actually there's a couple of things. Mm -hmm. Okay, here is the, here is the old, here is the new. And I kind of like it. I'm very happy. Oh, right, I gotta drill this hole. So let's do that.
Now that is, that's a plug cutter and that's a plug. Ooh. And the thing is, is it's been calibrated to match a Forster bit. When I bring it over here, it fits right in there. It's exactly that size, look at that, right? Okay, so now that's what I'm gonna use to fill in the space on the sides here, like that. And, yeah, all right. okay I'm gonna cut out these two pieces. There it is. Okay, so now we're gonna cut these. We're gonna use a little hide glue today for this because I just like hide glue. This business. So let us, that's one, that's two, that's one. These are all the pieces. Yes, let us assemble. business and this is two yeah two goes over here okay this thing great I need mineral oil. I'm gonna do mineral oil to do a finish on this because that's a food safe uh, oil. And I don't feel like letting it set for a couple of weeks with some, something else. Um, and you know, this is what you finish your, uh, it's what you finish your chopping blocks with. So here we go. Let's uh, get this on there. Okay. I'm highly pleased. I'm highly pleased to move from this uh, barely working thing to this highly working thing. They're almost identical form factors, so it won't take any reintegration into the kitchen. Look, I, it's clear to me, it was clear to me at the beginning of this, and I probably should have said this at the top, this works. There's no reason to mess with its form factor, and I don't think I did. I think I'm really, really happy with this. and. Uh, after a few weeks, uh, yeah, I think this will uh, become a valued member of the family. Thank you guys for joining me for another Hammer Build.